Hey race fan, Brian Davis Races, and you can too. Today's video is going to be a catch-up session on how I'm doing with Trainer Road after the base phase. Sweet spot, base, high volume, two. In my last video, I posted some tips about um, interval training, one of which was to have some espresso. So I'm getting that done, giving that time to work its magic. I'm gonna put on my noise canceling headphones. I got music figured out. I am ready to do well. Oh, I slept great last night. This test should go pretty well. This particular test is going to be a check-in after six weeks of doing base phase training. Now I don't wanna to get too deep into trainer road, but essentially that means for six weeks I've been doing sorta of hard efforts, not really hard efforts. Now. How that's gonna translate into this test is, I don't expect it's gonna boost my number much. It may even fall, and that's okay. That's not the goal. The goal of cycling for me is not raising my FTP. The goal for me is having good performances in races, not getting dropped in group rides, having fun when I'm out riding and not feeling like I'm struggling. So that's why I do Trainer Road. And this is just one part of Trainer Road. Speaking of the next phase, let me explain what I'm doing this season. Last season, I did the same thing. I did sweet spot base vol high volume two, and then I went to build mid volume. This year, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use their new tool called Plan Builder. That'll be one of the next videos I do. Then I'm gonna take where I'm at right now after whatever happens in this initial base phase. I'm gonna kind of throw these last six weeks out the window. And as far as training road is concerned, I'm starting over. I have an A race this summer. What should I be doing? Let's have some fun. Uh, my weight this morning was 177 pounds. So the training program for those six weeks, I believe I was 85% compliant, maybe a touch better than that in terms of, and the way I'm calculating that is based off strictly off TSS. I'm doing it now in the future and I'm putting a graphic up that shows um, what the difference is between high volume and mid volume in terms of percentage because somewhere in my mind, I always feel like if I do high volume and hit it a little bit lower than I anticipated, I'm still doing pretty good. And really high volume, I can't believe it's 85%. I mean, I feel like I knocked out every single workout. I know I missed two as I was getting ready for the Kickstarter to send out all the follow hollow socks, which I'm really happy I did. But one thing I wanted to point out when I typically in the past have moved over to self-training after I get bored with the structured workouts, um, the thing I screw up is I'll kind of do like a full trainer road season in a week and, and the way that, or, and what they do six weeks, I do in a week, right? So I'll do a hard ride, two hard rides, an easy ride, maybe three hard rides and an easy ride. And that's all in one week. It's not really doing any good. What they're doing is hard, harder, hardest, rest, hard, harder, hardest, rest. That's what I should be doing if I'm going to do it on my own, but I shouldn't do it on my own because that does not work out well. History tells me that does not work out well.
Well, we went down two watts, 308 to 306. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh God. Ow. All right, race fam. That's it for the Trainer Road Base Phase FTP Step Test. Now, here's what we're gonna do different. Last year, I did the base. I went right into build. And off I went. Now I screwed up last year and I guess I sort of screwed up this year is I didn't do base, sweet spot base high volume one. I went straight to sweet spot base high volume two. But it doesn't really matter this year because what I'm gonna do now is as soon as this video publishes, I'm gonna go into trainer road and for the first time, I'm gonna try to figure out plan builder. I have not even clicked on the link because I wanna be totally ignorant when I hit the plan builder and I'm gonna pick my A race as Tour of America's Dairyland for this summer and I'm gonna see where Trainer Road puts me. So it should be interesting to find out. So be sure to tune in to the next video. Um, let me know what questions you have about the FTP test or about how the base phase went for me uh, for this year, 2020. And again, I'm not upset about losing two watts on my FTP. FTP is not the game, uh, racing is the game. So what did I get from the base phase other than dropping two points in my FTP? I feel like I have a much better, I feel really confident that I'm able to hit that longer sustained effort uh, so I'm feeling much more confident than I was even last year at this time. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for 2020, hoping to get some miles in. I'm done shipping socks for the Kickstarter, so now it's just a regular workflow. By the way, if you're looking for socks, go hit up followhollow.com. That's all I have for you today. The goal on the channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, or grow our fitness. Hopefully I delivered that to you today. If so, please do subscribe to the channel. Let me know what questions you have about the Trainer Road base phase and uh, let's see if we can get this figured out for 2020. Bye.